Hi, my name is James. Today we're going to be talking about chest compressions. Chest compressions are a key component of good quality basic life support and also they're clearly important in advanced life support while other interventions are going on. We're going to focus on good quality chest compressions and minimising any interruptions. To start your compressions, put the heel of your hand so in the lower half of the sternum, other hand on top with your fingers interlaced and then move so your arms are vertically above the patient's chest and then you can start your compressions. These need to be at a depth of five to six centimetres or a third the depth of the chest. They need to be nice and regular at 100 to 120 compressions a minute. When you're doing your compressions, make sure that you allow the chest to recoil fully to its normal position, but don't let your hands leave the skin of the chest. If the airway is not secured, then you want to perform 30 chest compressions and then stop the compressions to do two ventilations. If the airway is secured, you can do continuous chest compressions. Once we've started the chest compressions, there are a few reasons where we may stop. These include, if the person starts to show any signs of life, if we come to the end of a two minute cycle, we are going to stop and reassess the patient. If you are working in a team and the team leader asks you to stop. If you are delivering the chest compressions and know that you are tiring and there's someone else who can take over from you. Or if you are using an AED and it tells you to stop so it can do a rhythm check. 